the um, World Cup, and the real score, you know, forgetting about the penalties, was 3-3. Three to three. 33. I thought maybe we could take a look at the 33rd book of the Bible and just read the third chapter, just for the heck of it. See what it says. That's the book of Micah. It's a short book. It's kind of a scary book, by the way. And I said here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and you princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Who hate the good and love the evil? Is that the day we're in? The people hate good and love evil? Do you think that you're free from judgment? Who pluck off their skin from off of them, and their flesh from off their bones, who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off of them, and break their bones, and chop them in pieces as for the pot, and as flesh within the cauldron. Then shall they cry out unto the Lord, but he'll not hear them, He's not going to hear the people that are doing evil. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make the people to err, that bite with their teeth and cry, Peace! And he that puts not in their mouth They even prepare war against him. Therefore, night shall be on to you, that you shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark on to you, that you shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed." And the diviners confound it. Yea, they shall cover their lips, for there is no answer of God. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, I pray you, you heads of the house of Jacob, you princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward. The priests, the priests, will they teach for hire? The prophets divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil come upon us. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field and Jerusalem shall become heaps. Today is uh, December 19th, 2022. Uh, In about three weeks, I'm going to be 39 years old. And uh, I've experienced many things in my life that were very much supernatural. And uh, I've seen many things. Things were shown to me, you can say. Uh, My whole life, my whole life. But the whole time I've never ever 
seen Jesus. And today, I think I saw him. Uh, I got to work and a couple guys were outside smoking and there are plastic flaps that are see-through but tinted yellow uh, that go over the doorway and the door was open going inside so I, I get off my bike everybody says hey Jesus because everybody calls me Jesus and uh, white horse and other various names of the sort because of the things I talk about and because of my likeness. Anyway, so they say this and I turn away from them and I'm like, hey guys. You know, they joke about it. And I, 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 I look through the I look through it and I see somebody standing there like I didn't raise my head to look up and see their face but I saw like someone standing there wearing white and uh, as I move my head into the doorway the white becomes so bright like this was like a half a second thing and I gasped and I moved out of the way as if I was about to walk into something that just exploded and then it was gone now like I looked at it it was like it was like a robe like it was like cloth and, and I felt what it was, who it was right away. And it, and then it was gone. 